We're gonna put in some corn, beans, and this one should produce some greens. So corn, beans, corn, some greens. Okay, let's go to the other side and put it. Put it right here. Push it all the way in here. No, just one. Cover it. And then put the other one here. Here. Bring it. Sorry. Can do it myself. Okay, come on, put it right there. Pretty much now, it's our. Come on, B, hold it. Okay, just so we put it up, show you. On this side is our greens. Hold on, there you go. On this side is our greens. On the side, on the side over there, there should have been an onion, but I don't know if that's gonna grow. Gray wanted to celery there. Then on that back corner, we have corn. And then over here, we have beans. So we'll see how that goes. And we watered it up a little bit. It didn't get water for a few days, only because, oh, sorry. Only because of the storm and the tornado and all that. But we're going to get back to it now. Since somebody's back. It's coming back. Somebody. Yeah, it came back after how many days? After like six days, right? Okay. I think this grape started sprouting. Oh, I no. believe it did. And Ow. we're getting out of hand. We're trying to grow too many stuff. Ow! Trying to grow too many stuff in the garden with not enough space. We're going to see how this is going to turn out. I'm going to plant this. It's bad. We've had a sweet potato that sprouted. It's pretty big. And an onion that started sprouting. We're going to go plant it in the garden and see how it works out. I'm nervous. This one, because they said you plant one and so many can grow, that it might mess up our little tiny garden. Like you might end up overpowering some of the other plants. But we'll see.